Hey guys, um, I just wanted to bring something up that's been bugging me a lot lately. Um, and I know when I post this video that there's going to be, uh, ladies that probably feel like they're going through the exact same thing. And that makes me feel better. I just got out of the shower, so sorry for my appearance, but I don't really care what I look like. Um, and I'm sorry, I have my fan going because I'm getting ready for bed. But, I just wanted to bring up the baby situation. Um, I feel like the older I get, I mean, I know I'm 25, I'm still young, but I feel like... This feeling is probably not going to go away for probably for a long time. But I feel like the older I get, the harder this feeling becomes and the stronger it gets. And I'm just sad about it. And I'm sad at myself. I'm sad at I'm sad because my body is just not working correctly. And I just keep asking myself, when the heck is it gonna be my turn to have a baby? I know I'm twenty five. I know I still have plenty of time and it'll probably happen one of these days, but right now, in this moment it's breaking my heart and making me sad because I have a lot of love to give and I want to grow a family I want to experience what it's like to be a mom and I want Ryan to experience what it's like to be a dad I want to see him grow with our child grow to become a great dad I just want these experiences because we're oh, we're, oh we've been married for so long and stuff and been trying and, like, I kind of, everybody's like, well, you're still young. <laughs> and, yeah, I know. You're still young. You have plenty of time. Yeah, I know. I said the exact same thing to myself when everybody said that to me when me and Rain first got married. I said the exact same thing to myself. And I just let it go. But the older I get and now I'm 25, I'm just half, I'm halfway already. And I kept on Ryan that, like, I have control over it, though. <laughs> I can't, I told Ryan that I want to have a baby before I turn 30. And I know I still have five, five years before I turn 30, but these are just real feelings. And it's like my body is just like not working with me at all. And I've done my best. And I'm still working my butt off. I'm losing, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm, tr I'm eating healthier. I exercise. And sometimes I feel like it's not getting me anywhere. Even though I'm not going to stop. And I've went to the doctor tons of times, and they said, well, it's just what happens with people with PCOS. This is just, that's just one of the things that happens, or that's just one of the things that happens. That's just, and other symptoms over and over and over again. And this time... And, and the weird thing is that sometimes it's different symptoms. You don't have, you don't go and have one of the same symptoms all the time over and over and over again. It's like 
symptom after symptom after symptom after symptom and this time I've been having a period for two months now and they put me I didn't want to do this but I thought I need a break from having a period but I'm not going to break I'm on birth control sprint egg it has just slowed my period down like, I'm still having a period. I'm still, I'm like spotting. And it, it's still going. It's just slowed it down. It didn't stop it. It just slowed it down. But for two months, I've been having a period. Which periods are good for people with PCOS. But if you're experiencing it, it, it it's hell. I'm just going to say that. It's hell. I'm sorry I'm crying, guys. But these are just true feelings. And I want to be real. And, like, like who knows what's going to happen in the future. But I just want to make these videos to look back on my situation. To see if I'm going to actually... If something good gonna come out of the bad stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just hard. <laughs> hold on. Okay. Let me get a hold of myself. We've decided that we're not going to start any infertility this, the rest of this year. We're going to, we're going to start, hopefully, I pray, start any kind of fertility treatment or anything, The be hopefully the beginning of next year. Um... And we're, I guess we're going to give next year a shot. I mean, hope, if anything works, we're going to give it a shot. And if it doesn't, me and Ryan's talked about ta taking foster classes to try to become foster parents to a, a child in need or a child, like, an infant whatever like any child that needs a place or needs help or whatever we're in the beginning process of figuring stuff out I just wanted to make this video for it to be on the record of how I feel because Hopefully, in like years from now, if something good happens, I can look back and say that I went through that. And, and that if I do have a child, I can have, I can show my child proof that I tried for him or her so hard that him or her is a complete miracle. And that... I, as his or her mother, did everything I can possibly do to bring him or her into the world as safely and as healthy as possible, and that I love them. I don't have them right now, but I will love my child With everything that I have. It's just. Just hard. And. If it happens. He or her. Will have. The best family. In the world. And. That. This child will have everything that 
me or Ryan never had. That's what I pray for. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off the phone and stop recording. If you guys go through the exact same thing, please like and subscribe because this is just the beginning and I want to bring you guys along and I want you guys to know that you're not alone. That there are people that's going to do the exact same thing and if I can get through it so can you anyways thank you for watching my video and if you you know just please like and subscribe thanks for watching guys bye